There's been a real challenge in prostate cancer to better understand precisely what's going on within a prostate. We've come up with a new way of analysing prostate cancer tissue which should allow us to work out which cancer cells spread and which don't. This study is a joint collaboration between ourselves at Oxford University and Joachim Lindeberg's group at Salaf Lab in Sweden. One of the main things we've discovered is that many of the genetic changes that we previously thought were uniquely associated with cancer tissue are actually already present in seemingly healthy prostate tissue. This is particularly important because we usually think of cancer being an entirely different entity to healthy tissue. But cancer has to start from somewhere and identifying these areas within the same region of a patient's biopsy, we can identify the place where the cancer has grown or areas that have the potential to become cancer themselves. We also found that areas of cancer that look the same actually have quite different genetic composition, suggesting that they arise from different parent clones, the cells where the initial mutations occur that drive cancer. in order to get human tissue through so many different locations, even in close proximity in Oxford, is quite a difficult task. Our spatial transcriptomic pipeline allows us to take tissue from the operating theatre to the lab so that we can undertake our unique new analysis. To do all of this uh, pipeline, uh, we have to use different techniques as cryosectioning the tissues or fresh frozen tissue, um, extracting DNA information from that tissue um, and preparing sample for sequencing. It's really important to have different expertise as data analysis, biology, clinician. We do have a very rich data set now that we can interrogate to move away from just the genetic background. We have a fantastic critical mass of prostate researchers here in Oxford, which have been drawn together over the last few years by Freddie Hamdi, our head of department. And this is alongside our awesome clinical team, our urology department at the Churchill Hospital. The work that goes on behind the scenes in order to develop the research does not only span different expertise within the same team, but it, it spans different institutes within Oxford and in our particular case, also different institutes across Europe. We came together in the early part of COVID when we were all getting good at Zoom meetings. Joachim's group had access to large amounts of this new technology because they invented it and wanted to work with a really unpredictable cancer like prostate cancer. And we realized we could help each other with access to data and tissue. I see this as a bit of a silver lining of COVID actually. There are currently many men who we treat who probably don't need treatment. These treatments have side effects, be that incontinence, erectile dysfunction, or menopausal type symptoms because of hormone therapy. Being able to unpack what's going on in a man's prostate with real accuracy. Is this cancer clone one that's primed to spread or may it just sit there and never bother you? This is key to treatment in prostate cancer. It will allow us to give the right treatments to the right patients so that if possible, they can avoid the side effects of treatment. Patients really care about this and their families do as well. We think this work and the ideas arising from it could revolutionise how we treat a number of cancers, such as breast cancer, skin cancer and brain cancer. And we are really looking forward to collaborating with others who might wish to be involved in taking these ideas forwards. We're really excited to see what comes next. <laughs>